Alan Neckman of Agora Financial joins us now for the weekly options alert as we take a look at the market action. What's on your mind today, Alan? Stocks are strengthening. Ah. So this week, as well as what happened last week, we had this huge swing. The S&P had a four-month low on last Monday and rallied 150 points by Friday. So that was a 6% change. That's very significant and positive. You have a number of trades still on, so let's catch you up here. The WPI trade tracker that mm -hmm. we're watching today is in Sunoco, Sun. Right. Sun is the first position we want to talk about. And again, the lesson is that we bought plenty of time to let this trade develop. Sun, Sunoco's kind of stalled out here. So it's a November 16th option. So not this Friday, by next Friday. Need a little bit of work. Uh, saw some pullback in oil, so let's see what happens. You also have a trade in PBR. PBR, exactly. Oil market has stalled and actually gone down, but PBR has held up very well. We're stuck at this 1650 level. One more dollar, 1750 should see that option double. We've got the $14 call, and again, about a week and a half of time. Oh, so close there. All right, moving on to tech. HPQ, Hewlett Packard, also a trade that you have in play. Right, that bottomed out. Uh, we've got the 21 calls for November. Uh, that stock made new month highs, and we're sitting at this 25 level. We can push through 25. We're looking at 27. And we'll be in great shape. And then Intel, the chips. Intel, 42 call for December. Again, a ton of time. Uh, it was hanging around this 48 level for the last five days. Let's see if we can make one more push. If you get to 50, then we should be able to get a 50% profit on our option. Now, your WPI trade trigger for the week is already taking a look at a Christmas trade. It's time. It's time for shopping. Well, I love your early so, shopping. Yeah, Black, Black uh, Monday. It's coming out. Walmart. <laughs> Black Friday. Black Friday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Yeah, there's Tuesday. a lot of shopping. There's a lot of shopping. That's what it comes down to. So Walmart, uh, December uh, 14th, uh, weekly options, a $95 call. Now, this is a stock that's moved up 15% in the last six months, but it's just gotten back to unchanged in 2018. So also, it got the highest level here this week that it's been since February, so it looks like it wants to attack that high that we saw back then at 110. And then taking a look at your trading floor takeaways, the 18 scene. Yeah, we haven't mentioned the election, and I want to point out to everybody that optimism wins. So every single midterm election since World War II, one year afterwards, the stock market was positive. So it's a winner for everybody. You're liking that number two on your list? Global growth. That's been my story, and that's been my, one of the bullish premises that we've had here for the last, let's just say, five years, uh, but we're seeing lows in unemployment in Canada, 40-year lows, lowest all-time unemployment in Germany, and Japan has unemployment at 2.3%. So it's not just U.S. Globally, everybody's doing very, very well. People are working again. And number three on your list? The path play. What we want to talk about is the path the market's been going in. Uh, we've seen a 25% jump since uh, Trump was elected, but let's total, it's been 311% since that 2009 low. So do not fear the bull. Boy, just straight up. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.